And we are back at ISTE 2015. My name is Jeff Bradbury. This is TeacherCast live from the Microsoft booth. I am here with Deirdre from the Minecraft team. How are you today? I'm well. Thanks, Jeff. And uh, today we're talking all about Minecraft. And there's two kinds of people out there. There are the kinds of people that are like, Minecraft, what is that? And then there's the kind of people that are like, Minecraft, are you crazy? Let's talk about the first kind. What is Minecraft? So Minecraft is a video game. It's a 3D game. Um, people do crafting. They do building. They've created amazing creations, machines. Someone built a working hard drive in Minecraft. It really feels pretty limitless. And I see Minecraft all over the place now. Minecraft is essentially a place where people... I don't want to say students, I don't want to say adult. People can go in and start to build. They can explore, they can create, they can craft. It's a Microsoft product now? Yep. It, last year we acquired Mojang, the company that made Minecraft, and that's uh, part of our Xbox family now. Are we okay? Um, so we've been um, working, looking at the opportunity in education, and we found that teachers are doing amazing things with Minecraft. Since really since Minecraft was first released to the public in 2009, we've had teachers who are bringing it into their classroom. They're using it for math exercise, for uh, language arts, for encouraging reading. Um, and we've been really inspired by that. And so we're working right now, we're doing some workshops here at ISTE to extend that and to bring teachers in and show them what's possible. So we're showing them examples of what other teachers are doing with it, and we're getting them hands-on in the game. And I'm seeing there's a lot of school districts these days having Minecraft clubs. This is a social activity. It is. I, it, it's both in the classroom and after school. There are summer camps. Um, it's something that kids are really passionate about and they're enjoying. And, and so when teachers can work with them and draw out the learning of um, it, using uh, the blocks and having students calculate perimeter and area and volume as they're building things in Minecraft and think about resource constraints and what that means. Um, you've got a group of kids who are passionate about this and really engaged. And so the teachers start out with a group of kids who are leaning in and really excited about coming to school and learning. So let's talk a little bit about the platform. Where do you find Minecraft? Minecraft's everywhere. <laughs> I, think, I think we see that as t-shirts, as books. Um, on, uh, people play it on, on every device. There's, it started out on PC, and mostly in schools it's used on PC. Because it is flexible, Minecraft can be modified. And so teachers um, either create their own mods that does, helps them do what they want with their classes, or they find other mods. So we were, I was in a classroom, and the students were building out um, different uh, cultural scenes, and one of them wanted animals mm -hmm. to, to be in a jungle that they were creating, in, in a jungle in India. And so they came and they're, they're also learning negotiation skills because the student came in and negotiated to ask the teacher to install a mod. <laughs> and so the, the teacher said, okay, make a case for it. Um, so teachers are using the PC version so that they can use mods and um, really extend the experience. But it's also on, on iPads, on mobile phones. We're seeing that as well. And now because it is all across these platforms, is it something that I have to download onto my computer or is this a total cloud platform? It is something you download the app on your computer, yeah. And what does a student need to do? Do we have to give out email addresses? Is there privacy issues? What is like the logging in getting started here? We do have a, a registration process for the game that you would buy at uh, Minecraft.net. There's also a product called uh, Minecraft EDU by Teacher Gaming. And so most schools today are using Minecraft EDU, and they have a separate registration process uh, that works for schools. Now, we have a lot of people here on our chat. We are live, of course, on TeacherCast.tv. And most people say is, how do we get started with this? Because a lot of teachers out there have students who are really, really into Minecraft, but they might not know anything about this world. How do teachers learn how to do these things? So two really critical steps. The first one is ask your students. Mm -hmm. Just ask them, what do you think you can learn with Minecraft? And, and, and follow them, because they're really... Um, once they start thinking about it, thinking about it in a school environment, they have amazing ideas. The other thing is play. So just get in and play. Load the game. My, my friend Alice Keeler says, just buy the game and load it on your phone and go tell your class. You earn instant credibility from that. But get in and try the game. And that's what we've been seeing here in the workshops we've been doing at ISTE is mm -hmm. um, teachers get, getting in and often being a little bit hesitant. They haven't played a video game or they haven't played a game with mouse and keyboard. And they're there's a little bit of euphoria once they get through and they learn how to, to jump over something when they run into an obstacle. And yeah. I think going through that experience um, helps them just feel more confident about it and also show the kids, hey, I'm willing to do something differently. I'm willing to come to where you are and see, you know, I, I want to understand what makes this so interesting to you. And as a teachable resource, are there Minecraft curriculums out there that teachers can jump right into? 
There are. Uh, for Minecraft EDU, there are uh, worlds and lesson plans that teachers have created, and we're um, working to share those. There's also just examples all over across um, across all different subjects, all different grade levels, and so we're working to help showcase those. And, and starting with some of the basic, like just building a number line in Minecraft, something that um, someone could do very quickly once they get into Minecraft, and then some of the more advanced lessons teaching um, teaching physics in Minecraft, for example. Well, I want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Minecraft is an amazing resource. I'm looking forward to trying it out, especially because Windows 10 is coming out. We can yes, use it on that. Yep. So definitely check out Minecraft. We'll be back with more from TeacherCast Live at ISTE. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you, We'll be Jeff. right back.